business west. It's a lot less exciting 
to show the state line if you guys can't see it. So I hope you guys could see that. <laughs> I have no idea. Way in motion. progress we got 187 miles to go and 355 sorry 356 on our clock it for some reason it gave me a minute back when I switched to off duty <sighs> so we're making good progress we're making good progress so four hours to do three hours and ten minutes of driving so we're actually getting a little bit further ahead of schedule that's awesome Alright, so we've got Interstate 19 ending right up ahead, so we might get some traffic joining from that, hopefully not. Oh, this is just, my truck's just slowing down for the pickup in front of me. It's fine. We had uh, over, like, three exits, we had two pickups join in, both of which were going progressively slower. And each got in front of the other, so I was like, alright. Now we're all doing 57. Oh, no, no, don't freak out, dude. Hey, they're speeding up. Cool. Is that your exit, dude? No. <laughs> he doesn't know where he wants to go. He's got no clue. That's 19 above us right now. Also, 
I feel like I'm not the, the most tired person out here because it feels like pretty much every other vehicle is, is uh, leaving a lot more than me. So, yeah, I do feel at least slightly better than average out here so far. So far. Uh, we're about 97.8 miles from the West Metacoupa Freeway split. So, I assume that might be at uh, where 8 and 10 split at Eloy, maybe. I don't know. I am unsure. We are 124 miles from Tucson, so or from Phoenix. We only need to get two more hours of driving done with like a 10 minute, uh, two hours and 10, 10 minutes ish of driving. That's all we've got left to do. That's all we need to take care of now. No garbage man. Oh, sorry, recycle person. Or do you guys do both here? I guess maybe that's a truck for both, because it's waste and recycling, it says on the back. I spat something at my roof. I don't know what that was, but I heard it thunk. Ah, <laughs> oh, sunlight does make this job much easier. We are in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, we're close. We're sort of, I guess, maybe in Phoenix. I don't know. We're 25 miles from our customer, all on I-10, so I don't know if we're technically within Phoenix yet, but you know, I think we are now within the 202 loop, if that makes any sense to you at all. We're dealing with a little bit of traffic here, nothing major. We are still moving. We did come to a complete stop for a, a very brief moment a little while ago as a, uh, a truck from the uh, one of the fast lanes caught his brakes on fire and had to get over to the right shoulder. So we all stopped for him, let him over. That was fun. Uh, I didn't see any flames, just a lot of smoke. But, you know, not a great smell. And every time he started rolling, more smoke would billow out. So, yep, he's, uh, if he's not on fire, he's getting close to one on his brakes. So he's pulled over back about a mile behind us. So we're, we're out of that. We're out of that. Because if he catches fire, that's going to be a whole big thing on this freeway. It's going to, it's going to be bad. <laughs> I think he's fine. He got pulled over. I didn't see any flames happening. So once he's not moving, that will stop generating new heat at least. And he should have a fire extinguisher on board if he's properly equipped. Ah, so there's 60 east. I believe 60 West is Interstate 17, or Truck I-10. We'll definitely go for that if we want, or if we can. This guy's gonna jump in front of me, yeah. Even though it's gonna accomplish absolutely nothing for him because this lane's the slower lane. But he saw the gap, so he's like, I need to be in this gap. Applebee's is to the right. 
in the wrong direction from my customer. Well, at least there, at least we know where one is, because we might be spending the night here. Maybe I can just grab an Uber up here or something, grab some food, bring it back. Or, you know, just be more direct and see if they Uber eats it here. That'd be nice. I haven't had Applebee's in ages. I didn't I didn't need it Applebee's once during my home time. Now I hope y'all are proud of me. That takes restraint. <laughs> Oh, this turn's gonna suck, because we're nice and heavy, so... Uh, it's not going to be a pretty shift. We are 2.6 miles from our destination. We have 24 minutes left on our clock. It is 7.12 a.m. We're due there at 8 a.m. We have nailed it! We have nailed it! We are here on time! Oh, we're here early, in fact, and without running our clock out entirely. Unless this stoplight's 20 minutes long, in which case we're in trouble, but, you know. I can't be that unlucky, can I? Smash cut to us sitting here 20 minutes later. saw how fast his bobtail was moving a second ago and look how far he got ahead of me absolutely nowhere in the, that much rush i wonder how much more fuel he burned than we did by being in such a hurry flooring it to pass and having to hit his brakes down here we're so close here's our green Cool. Ha. Huh. 
engine off. No, he's about to move, I think. All right, so yeah, we're gonna head over to the Loves Get Parked. We've got our next load has been dispatched upon us already. So we know what we're picking up. This guy's gonna jump in front of me. Watch it, there he goes. What's he doing? 52? That's not too bad, to be entirely honest. Now I'm doing 55. In a 45. Everybody's in a hurry. Now our next load has already been dispatched upon us. And we'll be going to pick that up tomorrow. Down in Casa Grande. We're going to the sour cream factory. In a quarter mile, turn left onto West Van Buren Street. Yes. Huh. We got no. So the uh, the direct routing is all up into the Rocky Mountains on state and local highways, and we do not want to do that. That'll take even longer. Then, uh, so the second, the shortest practical route. Turn left onto West Roosevelt Street. The, there's another catch: is the shortest practical route, which is normally what I would request to get paid for. The shortest practical route is to go up 191 to uh, Moab, Utah, and then uh, take I-70 east to Denver. We're not allowed on that stretch of pavement. <laughs> Take the next left onto West Roosevelt Street, then you will arrive at your destination. So that's a complication. Ding, ding, ding. Stop. Thank you. Yeah, we're not allowed on I-70 between Moab and Denver. Per company rules, not Prime's rules, but Jim Palmer's rules. This nice easy corner spot? Yeah, we can do. All right, cool. Loves being smart in their design. They, they made this part, the parking spots at least 70 feet long. Sweet! Ah. 
But yeah, no, uh, instead of going all the state highways or going up to I-70, we're going to take the long way, which is actually probably the fastest way, uh, and that's going to be Interstate 17 North to Interstate 40 in Flagstaff, then Interstate 40 East to Interstate 25 in Albuquerque, and then Interstate 25 North to Denver. So that will be uh, mostly new driving for us, in fact, because uh, I've never done Interstate 17 before between Phoenix and uh, Flagstaff, so that'll be new. And uh, I've never done I-25 north of Albuquerque to Denver, so that will also be brand new. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow afternoon we pick up the load. My name is Elio Dare, AzerAngel17 on Twitch, Xbox Live, and Steam. Drop in, say hi, let me know if you enjoy the videos by clicking like, subscribe, or leaving comments. Uh, even negative comments are helpful because um, YouTube doesn't know they're bad comments. <laughs> uh, and engagement's engagement, so you know. Um, <laughs> there was there was one guy that was really not happy with the uh, the montage of of stuff to get caught up with my home time, but you know it was it was either a fast forwarded bit or nothing, and I chose fast forwarded bit. So. I'm okay with that choice, but not everyone else is. I'm sorry if you didn't like it. Honestly, the footage kind of sucked anyway for most of that week. The only day that was actually that interesting was the last day. We hit some snow up in Pennsylvania and had to do some quick planning to avoid some road closures for a winter storm. But uh, it wasn't really that bad. And I think you guys got the gist of it, just seeing how much snow was piled up at the customer's entrance when I got there in the, you know, five seconds of clip that were <laughs> of that day that made it in. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. That's the same guy that was going around this parking lot when we came in. Huh.